Hello children, today I brought to you mensuration and in mensuration I have selected a topic Heron's formula which is related to the NCRT textbook of class 8 and 9th. So let's start Heron's formula but before starting that I would like to request you to kindly like, share my video. Also don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Heron's formula was derived by Heron who was born in 10 AD and he worked in applied mathematics. Now the area of triangle formula which is derived by Heron is also known as Heron's formula. Let's talk about Heron's formula or Heron's formula. First of all let's discuss about the formulas. Let us take a triangle named as ABC and I have drawn a perpendicular AD on BC which will denote the height of this triangle. Now we all know that the area of the triangle is half into base into altitude that means half into BC into AD. AD is the altitude. So this formula comes forward for regular triangle that is general formula we can say. Now second let's move to the right angle triangle what will be the formula of right angle triangle. Suppose I have taken a right angle triangle ABC with uh, angle B as right angle. So area of triangle ABC equals half into base. BC is the base into height that is AB. AB is the height. Okay so our formula comes half into base into height that is the formula which is uh, which is denoted for a uh, general triangle also the same for right triangle next one is equilateral triangle now what will be the formula of equilateral triangle equilateral triangle has all the three sides equal that is ab equals bc equals ac now the formula for this triangle will be root over 3 by 4 into ab all square. So this is the that means side square. Under root 3 by 4 into side square. This is the formula for equilateral triangle. Children, for Heron's formula, we should know the concept of perimeter and semi-perimeter. Now see, I have taken one triangle ABC of side AB equals A, BC equals B, and AC equals C. Now what will be the perimeter? Perimeter we know that uh, sum of the sum of all the sides of the triangle is its perimeter. So all the sides are A, B and C. So if we sum up all the sides that is A plus B plus C then we will get the perimeter. Again semi perimeter. Semi means what? Semi means half. So half of the perimeter that is perimeter by 2. And perimeter we know A plus B plus C. So semi perimeter equals a plus b plus c by 2. So children, Sir Hiram has derived the area of the triangle formula in this way. Root over s, s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c where a, b and c represents the side of the triangle and S represents semi-perimeter of the triangle. Now let's find the area of the triangle whose sides are 13 cm, 14 cm and 15 cm. So children let's solve the question. Now we have three sides 13 cm, 14 cm and 15 cm. So I have taken the sides as A, B and C. So our A is 13, B is 14 and C is 15 cm. Now first we will find the semi-perimeter of the triangle and which will be represented by small letter S. So semi-perimeter we know A plus B plus C by 2. So it's 13 cm plus 14 cm plus 15 cm by 2. And after adding this we get 42 and this 2 42 by 2. After dividing 42 by 2 we get 21 centimeter. 
and now we'll place these values in the formula of Heron's. That is area of the triangle equals root over S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Now see for S we got 21 again S 21 A 13 S 21 B 14 from here S21 and C15 from here. So this is our values. And now children, you have have you marked here I have written centimeter square. How it can centimeter square? Children see we have here 21, 21 centimeter, that is one centimeter we got from here, and all are under root. Second centimeter we got from here. Third centimeter from here and 4th centimeter from here that is centimeter 4 to the power 4 that is centimeter square whole square now square and square root got cancelled and we got centimeter square this way here we got centimeter square so children from here we got 21 then 21 minus 13, 8, 21 minus 14, 7, and 21 minus 15, 6. And after that, what I have done? I have done the factorization of 21. Prime factorization of 21. And I got 3 into 7. Prime factorization of 8, 2 into 2 into 2. 7 is there. And prime factorization of 6, 2 into 3. Now, children, we have the concept that square root of a square we can write in this form square root of a into a and again root n square gets cancelled so it becomes single a similarly in case of any integer that is uh, if we find the square root of 7 square then square and root get cancelled and we get 7 and also we can write this in this form 7 into 7 so root over two numbers equals to a single number without root so in that way I found here it is 3 2 times 1 2 so we got single 3 7 2 times 1 2 so we got single 7 2 4 times so we got 2 times and unit is same centimeter square and after multiplying this we get the product 84 so our area of triangle is 84 centimeter square now Let's take a question from class 9 NCRT textbook exercise 12.1. A traffic signal board indicating school ahead is an equilateral triangle with side A. Find the area of the signal board using Hero's formula. If its perimeter is 180 cm, what will be the area of the signal board? So children, in this question, it is given that a traffic signal board is there and it is the shape of an equilateral triangle representing a school ahead. And sides of the equilateral triangle is given as A. So we have taken side of the equilateral triangle A. It is already given in the question. Also, perimeter of the triangle is given, that is 180 cm. And we know that this is equilateral triangle, then here perimeter will be A plus A plus A, that is 3A. So, twice A equals 180 cm. And in this way, we have found the value of A, that is 60 cm. Okay. In the same way, we have taken semi-perimeter as equals, semi-perimeter is what? Half of the perimeter. So 180 is the perimeter, half of the perimeter that is 90 centimeters. Okay. And now we have to find the area of this board that is area of the equilateral triangle. So area of the equilateral triangle before that we have discussed that Theron's formula is root over S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Okay. Now here the sides are what? A. That means it will be S minus A, S minus A, S minus A. Now children, the value of S is what? 90 and the value of A is 60. 
So we have placed the value of A and S in this formula. And we got 90, 90 minus 60, 30, again 30, again 30. And after that, I have taken out the prime factorization of 90, that is 3 into 30. Sorry, not prime factorization, I have factorized it in such a way that we can match it up. So 3 into 30. Now we have 4 30s. So from these 4 30s under root, 2 will come out when we remove the root. So 30 into 30 and under root 3, that is 900 root over 3 centimeter square. Now let's move to another question of same exercise. Sides of a triangle are in the ratio of 12 is to 17 is to 25 and its perimeter is 540 centimeter. Find its area. So children, in this question we have given the ratio of the sides of the triangle that is 12 is to 17 is to 25. This is the ratio. We don't know the sides. What are the sides? So first we have to find the sides. One hint is given. That is perimeter is given. As 540 centimeter. With the help of this hint, we will try to find the sides of the triangle. Now see, we have taken the sides as A, B and C and A equals 12 X. 12 X. X I have taken. Here, B also 17x and C also 25x. Now, perimeter we have 540 cm. So, perimeter we know sum of the sides. So, 12x plus 17x plus 25x is equal to 540 cm. Again, this sum up to 54x which equals 540 cm. Again, x equals 540 and this we have transposed in uh, right hand side so it became 540 by 54. 54 tens are 10, uh, 540 so x equals 10 centimeter. Now we place the value of this x here. Okay so a becomes 12 x that means 12 into 10 centimeter which equals 120 centimeter. B equals 17x that is 17 into 10 centimeter equals 170 centimeter and C equals 25x that is 25 into 10 centimeter equals 250 centimeter. So in this way we have found the sides of the triangle and we have represented the sides as A, B and C. Now children will find the semi perimeter of this triangle. In this case, perimeter is already given and we know semi means half. So half of the perimeter that is 540 by 2 cm. And after division, we get 270 cm. We know that the area of the triangle is the product of S, S minus A, S minus B and S minus C. Now what we have to do? We have to place the values from here. We will place the values of S, A, B and C. After placing, we have to do subtraction of these three. And after subtraction, we get the value 270 into 150 into 100 into 20. Now, what we have to do? We have to multiply them. After multiplying, we will get a big number. And then it will be difficult to find out the square roots. So the easiest method to find out the square root is prime factorization. So I have done prime factorization of 270, 150, 100 and 20. And from here I have selected two two numbers. We know that 3 into 3 is 9 and the square root of 9 is 3. So in this manner I have selected two two numbers. From these two we got 3. Again from these two we got 3 and similarly we got all these numbers. And after the multiplication, we will receive the answer. Now, how to obtain the answer? 3 into 3, 9, 9 into 2, 18, 18 into 2, 36. And like this, it will become again a big one. And will take too much time. So, 
we can use some tactics. What type of tactics? 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. Again here 3, 2 are there and 3, 5 are there. And we know the product of 5 and 2 is 10. So 1, 10, 2, 10, 3, 10. That means 1,000. 1,000 into 9, 9,000. So this is the way to get the answer in a short form. And it also saves us the time. Okay. So our answer is 9000 centimeter square. Let's move to another question. An isosceles triangle has perimeter 30 centimeter and each of the equal sides is 12 centimeter. We have to find the area of the triangle. Children, in this question, we have been given uh, an isosceles triangle whose equal sides are 12 cm and 12 cm. I have taken the sides as A, B and C. Also, perimeter of the triangle is given 30 cm. So children, we have to find first the side C. Then we will be able to solve this sums. So we know that perimeter is the sum of the sides of the triangle. So A plus B plus C equals 30 cm. After putting the values, we got 12 plus 12, 24 plus C equals 30 cm. And after transposing this to the right side, we got 30 cm minus 24 cm equals 6 cm. That means the value of C is 6 cm. Now we have to find semi perimeter. Semi perimeter, we know that semi perimeter is half of the perimeter. So we are having perimeter 30 cm. So semi perimeter will be 30 by 2, that is 15 cm. And now we will find the area of this triangle putting the formula that is Heron's formula. So Heron's formula we have, we have put the values of S, A, B and C and then we have subtracted these 3 and we got 15 into 3 into 3 into 9. Now after prime factorization we got 5 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 and from here we'll find the square root. So square root of these 4 3 is what? 3 into 3 and under root 5 into 3 because we don't have any matching numbers. So we got 3 into 3 is 9 and the root over 5 into 3 is 15. That is 9 root 15 centimeter square is the area of this isosceles triangle. So children, with this I am ending today's session. In another session, I will be in front of you with more educational videos. Also watch my video Heron's Formula Part 2 which includes exercise 2.2 of NCRT textbook maths of class 9 and it is based on the applications of Heron's formula in finding the areas of quadrilaterals. Do like and share my videos. For more educational videos related to NCRT books, chapters of mathematics, science and Hindi kindly subscribe my youtube channel also don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notification in time so children thank you for watching my video